Hello there everyone, Seven Bart here, and welcome to another top ten list. If you remember back in my review of Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, I made a note to do a list of animated annoying songs. Well, we're in for a playlist and I'm sure you want to cover your ears for and maybe turn your head. For they are songs from animated TV shows, movies, and TV specials, and they get so ingrained into our heads from the very first viewing that we wish they weren't so memorable to begin with. And I'm here to present my list of them, from the mildly annoying to the worst of all. So, sit back and enjoy my list of my top 10 annoying animated songs. Number 10. On the Road from Thumbelina. Okay, heads up, some of the songs on this list are ones I've already gone over, but we'll give them a little more detail. But this one, and thinking back to it, it's not very annoying, but at the same time, it does get on my nerves a little. It begins after Mrs. Toad has kidnapped Thumbelina, so she can have her marry Grinkle, her son. And when Mrs. Toad explains that when Thumbelina marries Grinko, they would go on the road and their song begins. My annoyances with it are little, but they are bothersome. The tune itself feels weird. I know what they're going for, but I can't even get into it. The lyrics are hard to get or even understand, and the animation is just awkward and not fun. But it's not really the whole song that's annoying, it's just the presentation of it. And for a film where most of the songs aren't too engaging, this one takes the cake. Not the most annoying, but it's still the most bothersome. And we're just getting started. Number 9. What Makes the Red Man Red from Peter Pan When talking about songs from animated films, the ones from Disney are always seen and take up the most in top 10 lists. And with this one, if you can get past all the things that aren't so PC about Indians, it would not help much. It starts off after Peter Pan saves Tiger Lily from drowning at Skull Rock, and the Indian chief thanks Pan, gives him, the Darling Children, and the Lost Boys a rank of Indianhood, and soon as the boys ask why does the Indian chief say how, the song starts up. And most of it explains about this Indian culture. Like why do they say ugh, and what makes the red man red? through fun visuals and comedic antics. But the problem is, the tune, and sometimes the animation, is not that fun. The music is mainly drum beats and sometimes trumpets, but it's too jazzy for something like this. The animation is sort of all over the place. It starts out fine, but it goes wild pretty quickly. And it really doesn't end, it just kind of fades out. At least the Indian culture is treated much better in Pocahontas, because of this, it's such a mess. For all the good things this pan has to offer, this song is not even that good, and it just annoys me. Number 8 The Siamese Cat Song from Lady and the Tramp Again, another song from another Disney classic, and much like the last song, it's sung by characters that, again, may not be so PC. But this is not only worse than the last one, it's also a villain song, which is usually the best. It begins when Aunt Sarah visits the Deer family. Yeah, I know that sounds weird, but go with it. Mainly to babysit the new infant while the parents are out. And when Sarah goes upstairs, she leaves her basket downstairs, which happens to contain the two cats, Sai and Am. Get it? And they sing their song. And much like what makes the red man red, the annoyance comes through the music, and at times the animation. But again, it's worse than the last one. Just the way the animation moves with the music is just bizarre and quite weird. Even the music has a way of being weird. I know it's Siamese, but it doesn't feel right. It's all one path and not much variety. And the singing isn't strong. It pretty much bothers me. It's the kind of annoyance that really bugs me any time I hear it. But the other songs in the film are enjoyable. What happened here? Why couldn't this be like the others? All I can say with this song is that it went too far with what it has. And for a villain song, that's no excuse to be anything but annoying. Number 7 Grandpa's Gonna Sue the Pants Off of Santa from Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer 
Yeah, this is the one that started this whole list, but that's not going to change anything, because the song itself is still annoying as ever. And worst of all, it's from a Christmas special that's just as flawed. After Jake Spankenheimer gets her grandma back home from the North Pole, Cousin Mel and her attorney, Ms. Slime, take her away once Jake leaves her on Santa's sleigh. The two take her to a cabin in the woods, yeah right, and hold her there until the Santa kidnapping grandma trial is over. But once Slime calculates the profits of Santa and how much she and Mel will earn, they suddenly don Caribbean or Jamaican style dresses and sing the song. Now this was an already existing song that was sung by Dr. Elmo Patsy as a sequel to Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, but I much rather preferred that version to this one. It's such a departure from the rest of the special that it's not even brought up again, like the other songs in this. The music is annoying, the singing is pretty bad, and the animation is not impressive. There's just no other way to say it, but this song is quite an accomplishment in how obnoxious and annoying it is. Number 6. The Land of a Thousand Dances, from Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. Of course I've gone on about this one, and of how it was the first song to be mentioned in my review of it. I can't get the scene out of my head yet, the song is so catchy, it sticks with me! But looking back on it again, it still has its annoyances, but we're just about halfway through. It's when Zack, after being shrunk by Krista, is brought over to be shown to the fairies, and they are surprised to see him. Then Pip comes in with Zack's cassette player to show what it is, until Zack presses play, starts dancing, mime singing, and encourages the fairies to join in. Even though the song just has the tune of Long Tall Sally, which now I can't stand thanks to this, it's no surprise that this might be a guilty pleasure song, because the animation is sort of fun and it sort of fades out again. But for being in a film where most of the songs aren't really too engaging, I'd say the same for this. As fun as the animation is, it's really chaotic, especially to the beat of the song. And altogether, the whole song is a chaotic mess of animation and music. While there's still something to admire with it, it still won't help either way, because the song is obnoxious. Number 5. The Berenstain Bears TV Theme Song from 1985. Now, I want to make one thing clear. I love the Berenstain Bears. They were likely the first to inspire my childhood, from organizing my stuff in signed boxes to giving a letter to Santa at the mall. And they offer good lessons not just from their books, but also from TV specials, CD-ROM games, and TV shows. But sadly, the opening to their 1985 TV series is such an annoyance that I had to sit through every time I watch a VHS of them. The opening is done to the tune of Stars and Stripes Forever, as the Bear family introduce themselves and the other characters come in as well. And the way it's all done is too much to handle. The beats of the tune and the animation that goes along with it is something that quite bugs me. At least the main show is decent enough, and surprisingly the 2003 TV series had a better theme song. But whether the themes to a TV show is awesome, engaging, or catchy, this one's catchy, but it's also one I'd wish wasn't so. All in all, the theme song to the original Berenstain Bears TV show is nothing but grating to my ears. Number 4. Ooda Lolly Golly What a Day from Robin Hood. Disney's Robin Hood is kind of a jumbled film, and while I do enjoy it, there are elements that are pretty bothersome, like the reused animation and some of the music and voice talent. But the one song from this film that I can't even stand is the very first one. After going over the opening credits, which has the most annoying music for any Disney film, the movie begins with a rooster named Alan Adale, who tells the story of Robin Hood by introducing it with this song. The music for it, while only being done on guitar, just feels like one loop of two notes. And while Roger Miller as Alan isn't bad, his singing for this song is too much to handle. It's pretty uncomfortable. And the animation for it is not that great, even when there is a brief chase scene in it. It all feels awkward when being in tune to the music. And altogether, it's a masterpiece. A song that could have been better if it wasn't for the uncomfortable, annoying, and bothersome way it's done. The film may have a couple of decent songs, but this isn't one of them. And it makes me sick. Number 3. Rescue Aid Society from The Rescuers 
Here's another one I've already gone over before, but let's go into more about it. It's the second song in the film, and it's too much. After the opening credits with the song Rescue Me, which again is good, we get to the United Nations, where the mice of the world have their meetings. And after the chairman gives a speech, all the mice start to sing their anthem, which isn't the best of any kind. It feels rather slow, and sometimes there's no point to having the mice get into it all of a sudden. Don't even try to make it fun, it's not worth it. And it's a somewhat uncomfortable song that makes me feel uncomfortable when listening to it. It really wouldn't make a difference if the song was sped up, because it's just not that good of a song. The animation for it is really awkward, the music is quite obnoxious, the singing is all over the place, it's one big mess. And most of the songs in the film are a big mix of good, bad, and indifferent. But this one is just bad. So bad that it's annoying. It's really grating to me, and there's nothing else good about it. Number 2 Daughters of Triton from The Little Mermaid Again, much like the last song, it's from another Disney classic, and it's the second song in the film. But it's more annoying than the last. After the first song, Fathoms Below, which is kind of nice, the film travels through the ocean, as the credits roll, and as we follow the mer people to Atlantica, where they attend the concert performed by King Triton's daughters, and they pretty much sing the only song for this concert. What else would there be? Regardless, the song becomes annoying right from the very first note, and continues to the end of it. The animation is pretty crazy for this song, it even quickly goes by, and the singing doesn't quite work out for me. The only upside this song has is that it's very short, 30 seconds at least. But even with that said, it doesn't help when the whole song is too crazy to enjoy, and even then, too annoying. It just really gets on my nerves when coming from a film that has other songs that are really good. So bottom line, the song is just too crazy and too annoying to like. And my number one annoying animated song is... Optic Coptic, aka the Eyes Song, from Pontable Pock, Where Are You? Oh, where do I start with this? First of all, this special, also known as Pontiful Pock and his Magic Piano, is my least favorite of the TV specials from Dr. Seuss. But it has fine animation, the other songs are somewhat decent, and there is a fine concept in here somewhere. But the main issue is that the special is so out there that it's just too hard to grasp. And the characters aren't too strong. And I'm starting to think that Pontiful Pock is Jack Skellington with a skin on. Second, Nifa Fifa, who sings this song, is again not a strong character. In fact, what she sings is very much what Pock feels. That and her singing is not fun. Third, the animation for it is very bizarre. It's really jittery, it's not very smooth, and it often repeats. And fourth, the music for the song is really obnoxious. Now, I'm not saying that I hate Arabian music because Aladdin did that quite well. But with this one, it's so grating, so annoying, so obnoxious, and so everything else that's bad about it, that it just gives me an uncomfortable feeling from the very first note. And I just felt it. This is the worst song from this special, and out of all the other songs that Seuss has done for the other specials, each of which are good on their own right, this one's not the best. And I can definitely say, with no regrets whatsoever, that this is my number one annoying animated song. Uh... So that is it. Thank you for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter. And... I'm going to listen to something else awesome. though. Why? Now, I want to make one thing clear. I love... Okay.